G'day guys, it's Tan the Fruit Nerd. Now I'm here in Werribee South to teach you guys about the best ways to pick and store the most humble of winter veg, the broccoli. Now broccoli is available all year round, but when is it best tasting? Well, when the growing conditions are coldest, and that means freezing point, because the broccoli protects itself and produces more sugars. So if you wanna eat broccoli when it's sweetest, well now in winter, it's the best time to eat it. Did you know that you can eat broccoli raw and it absolutely tastes sweet and delicious? Now that also means there's no need to overcook it. Try cooking it for a couple minutes less because you'll get better texture, you get a nice crispy bite and it won't be mushy or flat. So that's my tip. Either have a salad raw, undercook your broccoli and eat it fresh. Andrew, thank you so much for inviting us to your farm. Now what is your favourite part of a broccoli? Well my favourite part of the broccoli is the stem part, so this is the sweetest part. Yep. This is what we love to eat at home. Do you always peel the stem of a broccoli? If I'm eating it raw, I do. Yep. But if we're cooking it at home, usually not. <laughs> so where should you store your broccoli? Well, broccoli is packed in ice here at the farm. When you bring it home, you should store it in the coldest part of your fridge because broccoli loves the cold. And so the coldest part of your fridge is probably in your crisper or at the back where the cool air is coming out. And that will make sure that the broccoli stays as fresh for as long as it possibly can. Definitely don't leave broccoli out on the bench or even on the shelf in the fridge because it will dehydrate and it won't be crispy, it won't be moist anymore. So the best way is to keep it inside a plastic bag, but don't tie it up because then the broccoli won't be able to breathe. So just loosely close it and put it in the fridge so it can last up to a week. Alternatively, if you don't want to use a plastic bag, you could use a plastic container and chop the broccoli stem and place it in here. But do make sure that your lid has a little bit of an air hole so that the broccoli can breathe. It'll keep for much longer whilst maintaining moisture inside the container. So how do you pick broccoli? Well, I've got three average broccolis here and one really good one. This one here has a bit of yellow orange spotting, which means that it's either been stored incorrectly, it's over mature, and it's not gonna eat at its best. The second one here has some florets that is starting to pull away from the main stem. And that's a sign that this has been stored incorrectly and it has dehydrated. So it's gone floppy, it's not gonna be crispy and crunchy to eat. The third one over here has no even coloring and not even bead sizing, which means that it's not gonna eat at its best and it's not matured to its best in the farm. The last one here is my favorite and one that I'd personally choose. It's got even color, it's got even bead size importantly, and it's firm, it's heavy, and its florets are not breaking away. So that's how you pick a great broccoli. Now don't just look at the florets look at the stems and specifically the size of the stems. You see, this one is much thinner and this one is much thicker, which means that there's more nutrients going up the stem to the florets. And it's a good sign of a healthy plant and healthy plants mean better tasting produce. So I hope you learn a bit about broccoli today. Now don't forget to eat your broccoli stems. Mm. That's really good.